Hi, it's Drew at Finale. In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a simple effect and save it to my effects. Let's jump right in. The first thing I need to do is go to the effects window in the upper right and switch to the My Effects collection. You can do that using the blue drop down list. Here you see we're currently looking at generic effects, and what I'm going to do is switch to My Effects. So I'll click My Effects. You can see the My Effects collection is blank, which is perfectly normal if you've just started using Finale 3D because this collection is your personal collection and is not pre-populated with effects like some of the other collections like the generic effects. Alright, let's create a simple effect. We'll go to the design window, choose the effects menu, and choose create effect by typing a description of it. Here let's just create a simple effect. So I'll type uh, 3 inch red to white strobe peony, we'll add a pistol, blue pistol. Okay. So this is a simple three inch effect, which I can create simply by just typing the description of it. Uh, here we have the option to change the part number. I'll just change it to like three peony. Maybe that's what I'd like to call it. And then here we can choose which collection of effects we'd like to add the new effect to. Um, since I would like to add the effect to my effects, I'll just leave that the same. Down below we have the outputs. Uh, these are read only boxes. You can't type here. They just show what the interpretation of the description that you've typed is. For example, uh, you can see that right now the words match pretty much precisely to what I typed and the, the size has been parsed out. The type has been interpreted as shell. Here we have the default prefire since I didn't specify a prefire. Same default duration, default height, and it only has one shell because this is not a chain. So give you an example of, of how the interpretation works. If I misspell the word pistol, by, omit, by omitting the I, now I don't have the word pistol. So this is a clue as to what I'm gonna get when I create the effect. So this tells me, ah, I need to fix this. So now if I fix the spelling of the word pistol, I get a pistol. To save the effect, just click enter. This lets us know the effect has been added to my effects. Click okay. Now here you see the item. We have the part number that we entered and we have the description which matches the VDL that we entered as well as the size, prefire, duration, height. There are a variety of other columns that can be hidden uh, from the blue gear menu, but for this simple example, we'll just go with this. Let's say that I'd like to change the description of this item to include the size. I can do that by simply just double clicking on the description, moving the cursor to the beginning, and then just typing three inch. So now I've changed that description. Uh, you can change other values as well just by typing directly into the table. All right, so we've created a simple effect. Let's take a look at it. I'll click on a firing position, click on the effect icon. Now the item's been added to the timeline. I'll just grab and slide the playhead back here a little bit so we can preview the effect. Very nice, okay. So now I just like to save uh, the effect. I'm not gonna save the show, that's a separate thing. Uh, if you're interested in how to save a show, there's a separate video on the YouTube channel for that. Be sure to check that out. So I'm just going to delete this. I don't have to delete it, but I'm just going to delete it for this example. So now we go to My Effects. Uh, we can see there's a little asterisk next to it. There's also a small asterisk up here. That tells us that My Effects has unsaved changes. So for example, if I try to close Finale 3D, it lets me know, hey, you know, you want to save this effect probably before quitting, otherwise it's going to be lost. So I'm going to click Cancel. I could click Yes, which would save. I can click No, which would close Finale and not save. I'm going to click Cancel because I want to stay in Finale 3D. So I'm gonna save the effect by going to the blue drop-down list, sync with network. This is a super important feature. This is how you save any collection of effects that's stored in the cloud. So let's choose sync with network. All right, as we would expect, um, Finale has calculated any changes that we've made to my effects. We've made a single change, which is we added a single row. So we've added an effect. As long as we agree, we'll click apply changes. I'll agree, so I'll just click that there. And uh, Finale 3D will go through the process of saving that effect to your online cloud-based my effects now the item has been saved so it'll be here each time we open finale 3d even if we needed to switch computers it'll automatically download to that computer as long as i'm signed in using the same account that's it thanks for watching be sure to check out the other videos on the youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe